Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool telephone. This is a Western Electric 500 set and this is Don's telephone from Kentucky and this is a very early model 500 set. Um, it's, it has the uh, metal finger wheel dial and center ring so it's got the 302 dial in it basically um, or, or the finger wheel and, and center dial ring and it still has the feet like the 302 had so um, it's a very early model and uh, you know these these are the real collectible ones that kind of got caught you know in between the different models and how they were gonna you know square everything away and how they were gonna actually make them because they actually went to uh, the plastic finger wheel dials after a while so anyway we're gonna send, uh, Don sent this in he was having some problems I take it from my initial checkout here that uh, he's wanting a uh, probably a, a black line cord installed so he can plug it into any uh, line, uh, telephone line that he wants. And um, I do have the telephone apart, so I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. It's just a prime example of an early model 500 telephone. Really cool telephone. Uh, they're built like tanks, and they're just a great telephone. I got the body off, so we'll kind of show you the body and set that to the side. Now, another thing I want to show you about this telephone is on these early model uh, 500 sets, what they had was a dial that was uh, connected uh, or installed by a triangle uh, pedestal. And normal uh, telephones after a certain age just had the two brackets on each side of the dial. Now you got to slip and they would come straight off when you would uh, loosen them up. These you have to pull out towards the front and pick them up. And as you can see there's a triangle here. And so that's the way they did it in the early model because these dials were much heavier than the uh, later ones. And so basically what we have here is a uh, you know, just a real close version of a 302 uh, dial. Very close. A few things were changed, but uh, this mounting here is makes a big difference because your later model 500 sets did not have this triangle, and the dials totally changed. But this dial is really heavy. So, uh, but you know, they knew how to build things. They were they were trying to uh, you know build them cheaper. But uh, this is from, you know, the age of where they were still putting uh, high quality, not that they weren't high quality later on, but th this is a higher quality, and uh, they weren't so cost conscious then, and uh, so you got more bang for your buck. And so anyway, um, it has the old style network in it and the older style set of bells. Uh, they, you know, they continued to make those bells for many years, but they changed them a little, and they changed the network too. So we just have an early model 500 set here, and it's just a really cool thing to see. Um, the feet are your uh, leather feet, and then uh, the early model uh, base here. They did use a, a 302's base at one point, but then they went to this where they had the this base where they had the adjustment, and there is some five or 5302's um, that were uh, that had a bell um, adjustment on it up front here because they had they hadn't gone to these bells yet. They were still working off. Uh, um, the older style bells and they gave you um, an adjustment in, in how loud the bell would be. So then later on they went to this style bell and uh, then they even changed it a couple of times after that. I'm going to pull, uh, just from spinning the rotary, I can tell that the rotary needs to 
um, be cleaned up and, and overhauled a little bit and kind of checked out and gone through and cleaned up and oiled and maybe even adjusted. It's, uh, it's returning okay, but I can tell there's a little sluggishness um, in, in the rotary. But this is uh, how they worked. And uh, they stopped they stop making these actual dials after a while. So that gives you some kind of an ideal. But we need to go through this and, and uh, oil it up and clean the connections and things like that. So we're going to leave that off. But uh, I thought that would be kind of cool to show you. It has that triangle uh, bracket that you uh, install this dial on. And so uh, it makes it highly collectible, basically. So we'll put that back on and get this back together again. We'll go through this telephone. I also noticed uh, the way the bell was wired. It probably um, was on some type of party line at one time. It, it's got a, a funny configuration. We're going to fix that up for Don. We're going to get that uh, squared away and get his bells working again. We'll uh, do a test on the bells, make sure the bell is good and go from there, but then we'll also wire it properly. But just a fine example of a early model 302, and I want to give you a look at this uh, number card that's in here. I mean, it's just cool. You know, you, you just, anytime you see these old phones with some of the old number plates in them, in the number cards, it's just really cool. You know, it's just kind of like a look back into the past, and um, it's a, uh, you know, any collector would want this phone. This is a really cool example of a very early model. And uh, it's just neat to see these in a shop. You know, I, what I do all day long is work on telephones and electronics. And I get to see, you know, a lot of really neat uh, items. And uh, that's why I love doing this. So this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com, and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. This is Don's Telephone from Kentucky. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.